It's the week before FabFitFun customization for their summer box, and I've got all the details for Category 1. So this is future May. The video you're going to see is later on May, but there is some exciting news, maybe exciting news, it depends on how you feel about it, for FabFitFun. Now, the price for a seasonal membership has gone up. So it's gone up to $69.99, but with that, you get to choose all the categories. So no longer are you only allowed to choose categories one through four? You can choose categories five and six as well, so that you don't get some mystery thing that maybe you're not too keen on. Now, for annual members, prices remain the same. So your annual subscription brings you to $54.99 a box. And I thought that was kind of nice that our price isn't going up if we're doing an annual. And of course, you are going to get first crack at customization, at sales, all that sort of stuff. So I thought that was kind of exciting. Even though there's a price increase, it does guarantee you're going to get some items that you want. And listen, categories five and six are no longer the losers that they used to be. At one point it would be like, here's a cactus cup, or maybe you're gonna get um, a hair clip. Like, <clears throat> you know, it was not high value items. Now we've got better items, categories five and six, they are not to be laughed at. Also, I did find that they are doing some throwbacks in customization one. It's going to be that Kate Spade pitcher with the lemons on it, two matching peach cups, and that has a retail value of $38.95, and it really is adorable. I did get one. It's all packed up, though. It's for my daughter for if and when she ever gets her own place. She loves lemons, but I can tell you it is absolutely gorgeous. It is plastic, so, you know, be careful with it. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher. Um, you're going to scrape off that design, but super cute, great for the summer. All right, so on to the rest of customization one. Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. I'm kind of going along this time around. Bandit's hanging out somewhere. He may jump in. Chloe's off on her phone, and I've got... All of the spoilers for customization one from FabFitFun's summer 2024 box. There's a lot of things, so let's get into it. I've done a little bit of research. I want to tell you about them. I'm going to pop up pictures right there. So the very first thing that they spoiled for this category, they have Lispect's sunglasses in two styles. We have the Velodrome, which are going to come in black, which are kind of pulled out like this, so they're very good for round faces. And the Dynamite in Tobacco, which are a little bit more square. I kind of like the square style. They're both $55. I'm thinking about those square ones. Next, by Business and Pleasure, is their Cooler Tote Bag in Rivy Green. That's a $99 value. It is 85% polyester, waterproof vinyl 15%. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It holds about five gallons. It is 16. All right, 16. Sorry, length. Length is 16. So it's this at the bottom. Ten and a half in height, so not as tall. And written the width down wrong because there's no way it's five inches in width. There's no way it's this wide. Like that's not. Maybe, maybe it's fifteen wide. I'm gonna go. Oh, width coming out this way. All right, so it's comes out this far. So it is five in width, like this. But that bottom there is that sixteen, and that top is ten and a half. Um, next by Vacation is their perfume in the scent Vacation. This is a $60 value with top notes of Pettigrin, coconut, coconut water, and coconut milk. Heart notes of bergamot, solar musk, banana, and pineapple. And bottom notes, and this is what I thought was really weird, of pool water, 
lycra, and sea salt. Um, they're cruelty free. They got 4.4 stars for this product out, out of about 1,000 reviews. People said it was fun. It smelled like childhood memories, uh, childhood beach memories, like the late 90s in a bottle. Um, some people didn't like the scent, though, at all. They hated it. They didn't think it smelled like any of that. Um, some people thought it was mostly coconut and banana scent, banana scent, and that's what I saw the most. So that sounds really interesting to me. I like coconut and banana, because if it smelled like pool water and lycra, I didn't think I would like that. Next, by Montense, Mon M-O-N-T-C-E, is their Swim Alley Bucket Bag. This is a $78 value. This was really weird. So it is 12 and a half by nine and a half. It's a bucket bag. It's made out of paper, made out of paper, but you can wash it, but it's very, very fussy. So it's adorable, but don't leave it rolled up. Don't twist or wring it out. Don't leave it wet. Don't put it on hard surfaces. Don't bring it to the pool. Like basically sit and look at it on a shelf. Um, I think it's really cute. I don't know if I'm going to go for this though, because it's kind of too fussy for me. Next by Dr. Dennis Gross Skin Care is the Advanced Retinol and Ferulic Overnight Renewal Peel. Now these are little pads and they, it got about four and a half stars with 715 reviews and they people did say it had immediate results like it definitely had immediate results but some people didn't like the smell of it they thought it was just too scented of a product for them um for a 16 pack and that's what i believe from best i could make out in the picture is 82 dollars and this is a dermatologist owned brand they are cruelty free it's a, got a waffle pad exfoliator a phytol retinol blend with retinol, ferulic acid, bacutrol, and rambutin, whatever that is. Next by Beach Riot is the Alexa Top that's going to come in small, medium, large, extra large, or plus. That's $118. It's cute as a button. Would I pay $118 for it? No. Would I pop it in my box for $18? Heck yeah. And it's 100% cotton. Um, because it's 100% cotton, I would definitely size up because cotton does tend to shrink. And if you want to use it as a beach cover-up, honestly, I'm probably going to go with the plus size just to use it as a beach cover-up. Although, I don't know how large they run. So, I had to think about that. Next, by Fenty Skin. And there's a lot of Fenty Skin in this season. But in this category... It's the Cherry Dub Triple Action AHA Body Scrub. That's $36 value. It's vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, using recycled materials and no outer cardboard packaging. It had 4.4 stars with only 374 reviews, but people really seem to love the scent. They said it kind of smelled like the black cherry Merlot from Bath and Body Works. So, yum. Next, by Beauty Stat, is their Universal C Skin Refiner Brightening Serum, um, Vitamin C Serum. Now, this is an $85 value. I have used this before. This is a hero product. You are going to love this. If you have any dark spots, you want some brightening. If your skin's feeling a little dull at the end of the winter and you want to get some brightening, this is the product for you. And this is a great way to get it because it's got an $85 price tag. But this contains a very stable form of vitamin C. So it's going to be shelf stable. It's going to last longer than some others. It's stabilized with L-asorbic acid. So again, it's going to keep longer. Now, what people didn't like about it was the pump. And the pump can be a little funny. Like you're going to have to pump, 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 and then you get like a little spit. Then you're going to pump, 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 and it's going to be a big spit. So sometimes it's easier to just open it up and just take some out. I got to be honest. Um, the pump is a thing. Some people didn't like the scent of it. Um, I mean, it's just, it's got vitamin C. It's going to smell like oranges. 
Um, it does have the highest concentrated vitamin C that you're going to find around there. And it also has squalene to hydrate and pure green tea to soothe and reduce redness. Now, the guy who, who owns this company, who started this company, his name is Ron Robinson. He's a chemist and he actually worked for like Clinique, L'Oreal, Revlon, um, and Avon, and he's created a lot of great products for those companies before starting his own, where he wanted kind of a one-stop shopping, so you didn't have 19 products on your shelf, you only needed a few. And his products are cruelty-free, they're clean beauty, Beauty Stat is a great, great brand. It's a, this is an amazing deal. Like, if you want to pick just one thing out of this category, and you love skincare, that's going to be your hero product right there. Next, my Glow Recipe is the Watermelon, now let me read this, it's got a long name. I just call it the Watermelon Mask, but it's the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Acid Clay Pore Tight Face Mask. It's got a $40 value. It got 4.6 stars in 2.6 thousand reviews. And what people didn't like is the scent. They said it wasn't, it tasted, it was too, um, I taste, it smelled too superficial. Um, and that the tightening were drawbacks. Now, again, it's a tightening mask. I have used this before. I actually have one I haven't even opened yet, but I have used up a whole bottle of this. I loved it. I didn't have a problem with the scent. I didn't, it, I mean, it is, it's, it's a clay mask. So you expect that to really get this tightening effect. If you don't like that, here's a little tip. When it starts to dry out, pat it a little bit with a, with a, um, damp face cloth. That's going to keep it from feeling too tight. I mean, I take it off, my face is bright red, but it feels amazing afterwards. And it's Glow Recipe, right? So we know that they are cruelty-free. They're a great brand. We love them. Love Glow Recipe. The last in this category is the Jonathan Adler Cocktail Shaker. Now, this bad boy is cute as a button, but I don't drink very much at all if ever, and I certainly don't mix cocktails, so this is not something I need. I'm not gonna start having cocktail parties. None of that's gonna happen for me. This is definitely not on my list, but it's adorable. Like if this were some cups or, you know, they do have their cups on the website that go with this. They're mad crazy expensive. Uh, they also had on their website a cooler bucket. It looks like you may see that in the sale, in their in their edit sale, so keep an eye out for that. It's heck of adorable. That's something I would get because, you know, I would put ice in it for our cold drinks, our lemonades, our tea, iced teas, things like that to sit out if we're outside. So I will keep my eye for that if it's a good price. But this here, super adorable. If you like to have little parties, this is something for you. And even for mocktails, we're just not that fancy. Like I'm just going to stir it up and me and Chloe are going to drink it. I'm not all about that. All right, so customization one, I'm looking forward to a lot of things in here. Um, I don't know about you guys, let me know what you are looking forward to if you're getting the box, and if you're not, what would you pick? All right, thank you so much. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and hopefully I'll see you soon.